What does the word pandemic make you think of? Perhaps hand sanitizer or where to buy the cheapest masks or even how much toilet paper does a person really need? I'm sure we all have the same general idea, but when it gets down to the details, it's more personal. It certainly threw the whole world for a loop while we tried to figure out how to maintain our schedules and structure. I had been struggling with focus and structure before the pandemic, as I didn't have a clear sense of goals. So the pandemic forced me to sit and figure it out and focus on what I needed to do. I finally graduated in July, but I graduated and a lot of people, including myself, didn't think I would. Thanks to the pandemic, I was forced to sit and get it done with. I also got a job as an essential worker during the pandemic and it helped me maintain a schedule. It kept me knowing what was going on and when I needed to do things. After I graduated and got a stable job, I was forced to focus on things that kept me from moving forward. Mainly my mental state. It was making things incredibly difficult. I had no motivation. I had a lack of will, no drive. So I was pushing away my mental issues to focus on tasks. But because I had never healed the core problem, the tasks were never completed fully. From July until December, I was focusing on mentally healing. I sought help and I made it work. I discovered coping that would help me in the long run if these problems ever arose again. I found the hobby of yoga as it led me to a sense of centering myself and clearing my mind when things got overwhelming. The only issue after I felt stronger mentally was that I still had no strong goals, still not doing anything. I'd taken the time to heal mentally, so before I started school in the spring, I redefined what I wanted out of life. I knew that I wanted to go to college, and after community college I wanted to go to university, and there were key things I needed to do to attain those goals. And along the way, I came across this quote from Grant Cardone that says, Become obsessed with the things you want. Otherwise, you are going to spend a lifetime obsessing with making excuses as to why you didn't get the life you wanted. It's kind of an eye-opener. It made me realize that majority of my life, I had been finding excuses to explain why I didn't follow through on obligations and responsibilities, looking for ways to justify my shortcomings. When you're in a quarantine phase of things, there's no excuse. So I centered myself. I found my goals. I made plans to achieve my goals. And it took up all of my time. And I was happy to do it. But what I did not realize is people around me were not okay with that I had no time. As I had gained these strong goals and knew what I needed to do for them, it led to issues with my friends. I ended up moving into a place mentally where I didn't have the time to focus on issues with people that I could not mend. In order to achieve my goals, I needed a support system that would not flake on me when I could not fit their time frame. People who had maintained relationships with me throughout the main quarantine portion of the pandemic are the people who ended up sticking around because we each had our own things that we needed to do and we were both aware that the other person needed to focus on themselves. My family supported me and my relationship with them grew stronger as they knew I needed to do things and they supported me. The pandemic made me realize what it means to truly be there for someone. And it made me realize what people were never truly there for me. The pandemic was something I never wanted or expected to experience, but parts of me know that if I did not, if I was not forced into a situation where I had nothing to do, I would have never grown for the better. 
I would have never changed. I would have never learned. I hope this helps to show that you can persevere in unfortunate circumstances and even the worst of times can be used for personal growth. And you can take this time to appreciate life and make changes to make it more enjoyable. Thank you for your time.